Greetings YouTube. Uh, welcome to another map on my project. Um, this one continues from the North Platte map as we continue our march towards Chicago. Uh, I've called it the Columbus subdivision even though it covers um, more than the one subdivision. It uh, will take a run here from the west. Um, the North Platte maps ends somewhere just here and we will continue um, the trains on their on their route towards um, towards Chicago and places south so this is the town of Bradley so we will just continue east here yeah this covers the Kearney subdivision um, and then the Columbus subdivision and then the Blair and Omaha subdivision so Columbus was in the middle so that's why I called it the Columbus subdivision but anyway we will continue on as we head east I believe the famous buttermilk curves are somewhere around here but uh, I've yet to see the track bed for them, the road bed for them, so uh, I have to do a little bit more research for that. But this is the the triple track main, UP's triple track main. It, uh, one of the busiest pieces of railroad in the world, as far as tonnage wise goes. It uh, takes between 100 and 150 trains a day on the on the triple track and this is Gothenburg lots of grain elevators on this piece of uh, on this section of track to Omaha An ethanol plant. The first of many as we continue east. towards Cozad, which I believe this is Cozad now. Many industries to add to the add to the session there. Crossovers. Like the previous maps, um, this is a DEM generated map and these are the UTM tiles. All I've done so far on the map is um, is adjust the, the UTM tiles that carry the Google Earth images um, to the correct height, ready for track laying. Uh, that'll be the next um, the next thing to do is to, to knuckle down and um, Play the track. I'll just come a little closer so we can see what's going on here. Okay, this is Lexington. Another ethanol facility. And a meat processing plant by the look of it. Right, we will 
continue east. Another elevator. Another grain elevator. This is Overton. Continuing east. This map is very, very flat. There's not many hills or or anything like that on this map, so it's actually quite boring. It's just a, uh, a decline that continues over the whole map uh, west east. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're into Elm Creek, and this is a uh, this is a shuttle elevator. I don't know what's going on here. I was just here a moment ago, and the whole loop was here. Hang on, I want to see what's happened. Nope. Uh, something weird's going on. like it was all set here. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. But anyway, this is a this is where they um, bring in a, a 110 car unit grain train for loading. Um, we call these shuttle elevators and they have a specified time to load a, a train and get it on its way and uh, that way they can get cheap rates for for cars and therefore the overall um, the overall package uh, that they provide. So uh, there's lots of shuttle elevators on this on this route from um, from Bradley down to Omaha. Actually, we'll just turn that back on. Eh? Okay. Now we'll head towards Kearney. This part is the Kearney subdivision. bumps in this map or the only slight hills in this map is uh, down towards Blair and other than that it's just that uh, continuous decline from west to east so this is Kearney crossovers here another green complex just 
just getting my bearings there. So that maintenance away, is it? Yep, looks like track's blocked. I hope to set up a similar situation uh, in my sessions where we can block off a track and trains will, uh, will have to route their way around it and not get clogged. This is a, uh, let me see, yep, this is a cargo um, shuttle elevator. But, uh, trains, are, uh, cars are obviously stored here, uh, waiting to be loaded and made up into a unit grain train to either go to the Pacific Northwest or to the Gulf Coast. So, uh, should be able to generate some interesting traffic there. Uh, believe that there's the Nebraska turkey growers, so there'll be uh, feed cars coming into here. Although if you look on Google Earth, it looks a little, a little time expired. Although it still may be, may be used. And this is the turn off to Gibbon. Or well, this is Gibbon. Sorry, this is. Um, this is where trains turn south to head towards Can Kansas City, Oklahoma, Texas. So uh, half half the go coal traffic that comes from the Powder River Basin um, turns right here off the triple track main. Or well, this is where the triple track main ends. So I actually called this the spine line the other day, which is uh, completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not the spine line, so definitely foot in your mouth stuff there. Okay, we'll continue east. The Shelton, I believe. Here we have another shuttle grain elevator. A cargo one, I believe. Lots of room for car storage here. an old plant. Actually most of it's we'll just we'll just mow it down a bit, eh? Here we are. an old plant. Okay, continue east. Okay, now we're heading to Grand Island. And on the right here we have a uh, Case Holland manufacturing plant for 
Okay, well, we'll just. Um, it's actually not exposed here, so we'll just open it up. Okay, it's a manufacturing plant for combined harvesters, so uh, here we go. Here's the. There's the loading track for the combines and where they're stored. We'll just knock this down a little bit. There's the plant. So we'll, we'll model just the buildings and uh, have a loadout for uh, combine harvesters here. So it's a um, nice shiny new one, so it should be. Uh, and looks like lots of 89 foot flats there, so should make for some interesting loads there. So, two got an opportunity to pass up there, so we'll continue on here. Get rid of that. Okay. What else have we got here? We'll head down this branch track. This goes to the plat generating station. So uh, loads from the PRB will be uh, brought in here and unloaded. I'm unsure of how many uh, trains a week this plant receives, but uh, I'll have to do some more research for that. And the kind of coal cars they use, so uh, more research to be done there. And we will continue east. UP yard at Grand Island. Although these are not UP locomotives. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what railroad they belong to. Perhaps this is a short line. I don't know. I need to do some research. This this is the um, BNSF line that uh, crosses the UP here that uh, goes to the PRB for BNSF coal trains to head south to the Oklahoma Texas way. Another green complex here. So we continue east. Yeah, I won't have the BNSF uh, coal traffic crossing there. It's uh, take too much to set up, and it'll just such a short little run. It's not worth it. So at this stage, I don't think so. But if this map can end up handling more trains, perhaps. I'll either extend that line from Gibbon or perhaps we might put that in, but uh, at this stage I don't think so. But anyway, we'll continue east here. Not much to see except probably crossovers. Another green complex. So we'll just blast along here, eh? Not much to see, not much to see. Well, this will give you an idea of the whole layout anyway, so. Once we start. Uh, hello, what's this? Interesting chemicals of some description by the look of it. Don't know. It's uh, quite interesting researching these industries on. Uh, Google Earth Wiki, Wiki Mapia yeah, to try and sort out what what's what and what sort of industry it is. What is this town anyway? Central City. And I believe there's an ethanol plant down here as well. There we go. Another ethanol plant. 
So lots of car load traffic to be uh, generated out of these places. Good for the locals. Another shuttle grain complex. Watching the um, the operating sessions of our fellow uh, modelling brethren. The the actual um, instead of virtual model railroaders with their card systems. Um, while I'm not using a card system, I have a, another system that allows cars to be delivered, delivered to industries and um, head out towards certain industries. So we will cover that in a in a future video and see how it all works. To uh, you'll get an oversight of it when I um, do the hump yard at. Um, at North Platte as it's kind of a an integrated system with that um, the hump yard sending the cars to the correct destination so while there won't be a, a card system there is a system that uh, does handle the cars and actually I think this is a big big mistake here this is uh, Silver Creek and there should be baseboards in here but there's not I remember when I was making this up there was a, a, a bit of a an error created around here so anyway another another shuttle elevator you can see where I'm uh, looking away from the, the monitor as I skew off to the side a little bit sorry for that so we continue down this is the town of Duncan I believe yep and heading towards Columbus now at Columbus there's a, uh, a rather large ethanol plant, shall we say a huge ethanol plant, here we are, Columbus, it's like a feedlot on the right there. Actually they must stink something terrible. I don't know, I've never lived next to one, but uh, I do live in a rural area and I do know what it smells like, so I would say that intense, it can't be very nice. So we head through Columbus here. Okay. Now this is what I mean by a huge ethanol plant. It's served obviously by BNSF as well because this is a BNSF line here and obviously a BNSF train here. So that heads south. Oh, don't make people too dizzy here. But anyway, yeah, this is a a huge ethanol plant so it should be good for some uh, unit trains out of here both in and out I would say balloon loop with uh, what are we two or three tracks Yep, 
kind of be impressive. Hopefully we can model some of it and give the feeling of the feeling of the outfit. Manufacturing facility. And an oil terminal. Lots of interesting industries. We'll blast along a bit further. Chemical outfit by the look of it. Okay. We'll head towards Schuler. Presume that's how you say it. That's a uh, beef plant there on the left. And don't know what do these look like? Chickens to me, turkeys perhaps. To do some research there. Looks very interesting. That's right, we'll continue east towards North Bend and Fremont. the shuttle elevator here. Whoa, it's a lot of grain trains. So we head towards Fremont. Again, very flat terrain, very flat terrain. Okay, this is coming into Fremont. No, it's not. Another elevator. Wow, that big. This is Fremont. Okay, this is where the Columbus subdivision ends. And we have the Omaha subdivision goes off on the right and the Blair subdivision goes off on the left. So, and this here is a soya bean plant. So I don't know what they do with soya beans. Processing plant over here that will need some traffic. And we'll head up towards Blair. Another shuttle elevator. This is the this is the Lon Wright uh, coal-fired plant. But, uh, more traffic for PRB coal trains. But, uh, I believe this plant only has a has a couple of trains a month, so it doesn't burn a lot of coal. I think it's only about two hundred and forty thousand tons a year, so I think it works out to just uh, a couple of trains a month. So. towards Arlington. I think uh, 
although it would be done now because these are about 2014 um, um, Google Earth images but uh, it looks to me as if uh, they're double tracking this new bridge they look like they're double tracking this so would surprise me in the new version of uh, Google Earth images that uh, this is not all double tracked so I'll wait till I see that before I do it but uh, I guess it'll increase the see a new bridge here increase the capacity of uh, the line so so like they're putting in a new curve, easing the curve here. So perhaps I should check it out on uh, Bing Maps or looks like it's been done here already on Bing Maps or something like that and see what we've got. But you can't get Bing Maps into um, into Transdem very easily. So we'll just wait for Google Earth, I think. Yeah, this all looks like new double track, doesn't it? Nice white. Interesting. You always glance over it and looking at it in Google Earth, but when you stick it in a map like this and you look closely when you lay track, you see lots more, lots more detail. You become aware of a lot more things. And this is Blair. This is the big ethanol plant down here, much like the same one in uh, Columbus. Huge, 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 huge. Again, served by BNSF as well. Impressive, very very impressive. I believe there's a, a nuclear power plant just down here as well. I think that's it there. Not very good street view around here though. You can't get very close with street view to see the, the actual plant which is a bit of a shame so hopefully the uh, oh, hang on we'll just uh, yeah this is a, where this map ends is uh, continues out here and, and we'll end heading towards Missouri Junction and uh, we'll create another map that, that goes from there to um, to Chicago. So we'll just head back to Fremont now. Okay, we're back at Fremont and uh, we will run in towards Omaha now. Omaha and Council Bluffs, so we'll just follow the UP line in. All double tracked again. Makes it easy for creating sessions. You don't have to worry about single track running, which is uh, a bit of a nightmare to set up the sessions. So we don't have all sorts of horrible meets, but uh, double tracks are easy peasy. Compared. What we'll do is we'll just follow the uh, 
the main into um, UP's yard, main yard in Omaha, and then we'll um, then we'll go up to Council Bluffs and uh, have a quick look there, and then we'll just have a look at say Iowa Interstate and. have a look at a couple of the power plants, a couple of industries. As you can see, completely demolished the um, the DEM terrain, so uh, I sure hope that uh, ground files stored in a really good spot. Otherwise it's going to be a wreck. An epic fail. Still might be an epic fail. Plenty of industries here. For car load traffic, I believe Omaha gets... Uh, one or two trains, uh, carload trains a day from um, from Omaha and their own dedicated uh, stack train. So I saw the other day, so um, that was interesting to see that in a video. So and here we go, we're starting to approach the UP yard here. Yeah, Iowa Interstate have a uh, an intermodal ramp here, so they send they send uh, traffic to North Platte for block swapping and stuff like that. Okay, here's the main UP right yard here on the right. Locomotive facility here, locomotive servicing, fuel racks. Car load traffic where trains are made up. Classification yard. It's a flat switch yard as opposed to a hump yard. Okay, we'll have a look at Iowa Interstate. This is the yard here. Engine facility. Thought this was the intermodal ramp as well. Ah, here we are. I knew it was here somewhere. Okay, we'll just head back to the UP yard and then we'll head up to Council Bluffs. Back at the UP yard here, and we'll turn around east and head up towards Council Bluffs. And this is Council Bluffs, this is Iowa Interstate over here, and this is the UP yard here. And my map will continue up here to one of those little sorting fiddle yard things that I use to come off the map and then it'll start again at um, Missouri Junction for those who may know where that is okay be careful not to get lost we'll follow this down we'll head back west here to the river OK, 
Okay, this is the BNSF yard in Omaha. And we will head up to the Omaha North Power Plant. UP brings the the unit train in, but it goes on uh, BNSF track to get up to up to the power plant, although this is UP track here. But it has got to spend some time on the BNSF track, so Here we are, come loot. We need a little bit of that'll do it, we'll just clear it with that. Anyway, here we are. This is the Omaha North power plant. So Omaha North, they get approximately 12 trains a month, so I guess that's about uh, three trains a week from the PRB, so uh, from what I read, I think it's mostly from Coal Creek, so I may be wrong there, but um, stop doing that, force a habit, eh? back down to the BNSF yard and we'll cross back across the river here right now before I get lost you are already lost we'll continue south down here Oil storage. Here we are, power plant. That one is Mid America. Power plant. Oh, what do I do with the name? But this one receives approximately four to five trains a week, so there should be about one a day coming into here. We also have a large ethanol plant here as well. I think this can be put into the category of huge, I think. Double balloon tracks. And there's even a, another one over here as well. So, no, this is just a grain complex because there's no, oh, no, big pardon, there is. Yep, this is an ethanol plant as well. So, there are some huge ethanol plants here. So, it's going to make for some very interesting uh, operations. So, the next thing to do is to uh, get laying with some track and uh, and get on with it. More silos, more shuttle elevators, so many trains going to be so interesting okay you guys if you're not all asleep I think we should end this video because we're just starting to run around in circles now so that's the trouble when you get into these big cities it's uh, it gets a bit 
bit disorientating. So we're back in the main UP yard and we'll we'll leave it here. Oh well guys, I hope it didn't bore you too much, but uh, that's my Columbus subdivision map. Cheers.